hi guys in the previous video we have just see the glimpse of this routing functionality that we have done in here so in here what we are gonna do we're gonna create a login page so i have created already a pages folder in here i'm just gonna create a new login folder and in login folder i'm just gonna create a new page a new file that's called login.js so in the login.js we are just gonna use this import react from from react and react uh, we're gonna use this class component and give the login name like the class name and extends with react dot component and in here we're gonna render the JSS syntax in here by using return and in here I'm gonna use this div tag in the div tag what we're gonna give we're gonna give this instagram.svg so we haven't talked about how to import some files in our code so for the svg file we can do one better way but I'm just gonna show the general way like for svg file or uh, image file or jpg file right so in here what we can do we're gonna give this import logo you can give it like this import logo from dot dot slash dot dot slash where is the file is uh, is kept out the, the file location that we need in here so in here you can give this instagram dot svg and use it in an image tag using like this img src equal to as you can know this is a variable round so we have to wrap it into a, a what we call into a curly braces so you can give this like this but uh, as you know that uh, there is a better way of using this for svg file so what we can do we can use this react component that react gives and use it like a component as a as a name suggests you can use this react component as a react component so in here what we're gonna do we're gonna just create a new div and wrap this one into this logo part now this is what we need and next we're gonna just create a new div and in this day we're gonna use this form tag because we are using the login form right so in here we need input tag and in input tag what this input tag is for email purpose and we need this name attribute and give this name as an email and now give this placeholder and the placeholder you can give this email now as you know this is a required one so we're just gonna give this required and use this input tag input type equal to p password yeah password and give the name pwd and placeholder pwd sorry password you can give now password now it's also required so I'm just gonna give this required one now also there is one we need it is called button and just give it right now the login part yeah so that's what all need and there's also the on change method that we need right so we can give this on change and also we're gonna submit right so we need on submit and here also we can give on submit now i'm just gonna create the handle method for this on change and on submit so in here handle handle change e and in here and also the handle submit one we haven't used it in our render part but i'm gonna use it yeah now if i just use it here the methods that we have made use it this dot handle submit and also here also we need this handle submit one so i'm just gonna use this dot handle 
submit and also we need in here also this dot handle change and also we need in here this dot handle change so in here handle change we need the state so i'm just going to create the state but before that we have like seen that for creating state we have used constructor right there is one other way to creating more efficient way you can say you can just give this state name inside the class and just create in here an object and that's how i'm gonna use it here and yeah now this is one this is the better way you can say yeah now in, in here there's also a better way like for each changes for each on change method do we have to write a new method no we don't have to write a new method we can do only simply one thing that the state name that you have given here the same name should be in this name part why do we need it because in here we're gonna extract uh, event dot target we're gonna extract two things the first one is name that's what it is name in here email and the second one is value that the value that we have uh, like changing the part yeah so in here what we can do simply this dot set state and use this square bracket as you know this is a variable now and uh, this is a variable and this is an object so the key is wrapped inside the square bracket you can say in here and use this value right now i'm just gonna use export default we just because we haven't so how can we export default? you can use this by using like this so use this login now for now i'm just gonna save it and in our app app.js we're gonna do, we don't need this part because we are now building our project and there's also other way to using this you can use this component and just give the component name and the component that we need is login and it has been uh, imported now if i just save it and go to our code and this way uh, we need styling yeah so we're gonna style in the next video but for now if we just use this test and add the right test you can see that we need a required purpose that we have given here and use this part you can see that it got always refresh out so preventing this refresh out uh, like you can say defect for our purpose you can use this handle submit because we are submitting right so th because of this um, the refreshing out is happening so what we need is event like e dot prevent default this is what we need now if we just save it and go to our code and I, i'm just gonna go and uh, uh, refresh it again and i'm just gonna use it test at the rate test and use the test password you can see that it will not get refreshed so the first part is done we have done the login what in the next video we're gonna style our uh, code and also see more of that so that's all thanks